debate is set to begin in the Senate on the president's nearly $2 trillion COVID relief package. Will we see a stimulus check in 2023? Will it go to those on a fixed income like SSI, SSDI, VA? All of that information is right here in this video as well as can you believe that it actually will not work? Hey, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another show. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I am your host, John Miro, back with some updated stimulus check news. Many people on Social Security have been asking for more information on whether or not they will be getting a stimulus check, whether it's going to be a direct deposit or it's going to come in the form of a stimulus check. Many people have been waiting for the Biden administration to step up and do something about the financial needs of of the American people. We've sent $3 billion of equipment and material and things needed to other countries. Why not put that money right here in our own country to help our own people? Yet again, it's not that we don't want to help anybody, but we have so much homeless people, seniors, and those on a fixed income that are struggling each day just to make ends meet. Why not help the American people get ahead of this recession, get ahead of this inflation, and actually have a good living. We do a ton of giveaways right here on this channel. And if you want to become part of the True Life Investing family, make sure to hit that subscribe button and smash that like button. To all of our new subscribers and new people to the channel, thank you so much. Thank you for joining the family. Thank you for watching this show. For all that information that we have, let's dive on the screen. So I've asked several times whether or not a vaccine shot was worth it and should we do it? It. Well, data doesn't support that the new COVID-19 booster shots for most, says vaccine expert. In fact, many people have went and got a booster shot because they said, hey, there's a new one, you need to go get it. But in actually perspective, they said that it's time to rethink the booster recommendations. In the third year of the pandemic, the population's immune system was different than what it is today. And now most people have been vaccinated against the virus, but it's either been affected or if you've been affected multiple times, the latest data shows that the newest booster shot, which targets the Omicron BA.4-5 strain and original virus variants in a benevolent form formulation, isn't that much more effective in generating virus-fighting antibodies than the original vaccine when used as a booster. In other words, many people have been getting this booster shot and it's not really being effective. It's not really protecting them because it's not creating antibodies to protect against this new stuff that is coming out. So again, you know, many people have their opinion, have their thoughts on the vaccine shot. Again, I will remain neutral, even though I've said many times how I feel about it. I just want the best for the American people. So if you feel like you need it, then get it. And if you don't, then uh, you don't have to. So there's that information. Now, when it comes to stimulus check information, many people have been wondering when Biden is going to keep his promise and send out $2,000 stimulus checks. We haven't seen it yet. Maybe you voted for him when he said he would send it if you got his vote. So, hey, what? He's president. Where's the checks? Stimulus update, 4.5 million reasons why we probably won't see a stimulus check in 2023. Now, let's be clear. Is this from states? No. What they're referring to here is the federal government. They're, start, they're talking about, will the federal government actually send out a check like they did back in 2021? Probably not. And the reason why is because they said it hurt more people than it did help. The last round of uh, federal stimulus aid went out in March of 2021. While there is talk of a 2023 recession, there's a good chance we won't see federal stimulus checks this year, even if jobless numbers start to climb. When we talk about the American Rescue Plan in March of 2021, it gave a lot of people a reason to celebrate. Not only did the massive stimulus package allow for a round of $1,400 stimulus checks, man, that was nice, but it also gave the child tax credit a major boost. Although the federal stimulus aid consumers received in 21 helped many shore up their savings and cope with inflation, which that was the whole point, there wasn't any federal stimulus aid to be had in 22. 
rather than most consumers were privy to see limited state stimulus aid, which left many Americans out in the cold. And that is exactly what we've been saying. That is exactly the news that we've been bringing. We read off a state's list of states like this that have sent out stimulus checks throughout the year, all of last year. Many of these states are sending out checks this year. But many states have not done anything, and just like the information said, it's left Americans out in the code to have to deal with the high cost of living. I know for those on a fixed income, it's hard for you guys because you get a fixed amount every month. And also, it's not like these jobs are paying so much money that, hey, it doesn't matter if a thing of eggs costs five, six, seven bucks. I mean, it's ridiculous how much these prices are. So again, it really boils down to when are these states, every state going to send out stimulus checks? When is Texas? When is Louisiana, North Carolina, Ohio, Iowa, Michigan? When are they going to step up and send money to their residents? Well, my friends, that's where we would do the research every single day, looking for these states, making sure that we have the most up-to-date news to provide you with all of this updated information. That's why I keep watching because it may be the day that we give you that stimulus check news. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that information helped. Make sure to like and subscribe to jump in on winning a free gift on the 22nd. Make sure to let us know that you are the number one fan down below in the comments, as well as if you want another chance to jump in on that giveaway, then guess which movie this quote came from. Because we live or we die by the clock. We never turn our back on it. And we never ever allow ourselves the sin of losing track of time. I'm telling you, you're going to like it. You'll love the movie if you watch it. Let me know if you've seen it. It's a great movie. But guys, stay safe, stay warm, stay sanitized, stay tuned because I've got more videos on the way. And until next time, I'm John Miro. Peace.